Holy cow. <laughs> Doc is alive. Hey guys, uh, yeah, I've basically been gone from the house for a month now. We've been down at the beach house and I've really been focused on the exterior and I, yes, I have a ton of videos for you. Uh, we've been shooting footage this whole time, but I just haven't had time or the resources to really produce a lot of videos. So when we get back home here soon, um, I'll have a bunch of videos for you. Now, hold on one sec. The Andersons wanted me to contact you guys and let you guys know that on Prime Day, a lot of the core products are going to be on sale, anywhere from 10 to 20% off. So uh, on Prime Day, you can either go to the Anderson store or sign up for our email list. And what I'll do is on Prime Day, I'll shoot out an email saying this is what's on sale, and then you can go over and find the products. But they're going to be the bulk of the products like PGF Complete and a bunch of different stuff, 10 to 20% off. It's a good time to stock up for the summer or even into the fall. So I just thought I'd let you know that. I'm gonna be sending that email out. Um, what are we doing here at the beach house? The exterior renovation and the interior are completely done. What I've really been focused on is all of the exterior landscaping. A few little details inside. We had to get all the furnishings with COVID going on. Furnishings have been a real bear, man. Uh, trying to get stuff to furnish the inside, but we got that pretty much done. The landscaping work has been huge. We had huge truckloads of actually this black topsoil brought in. We've had landscaping rocks. We've done uh, irrigation system. I've, ze I've, I've seeded the entire lawn with zoysia and a perennial rye. Now, why did I do the perennial rye? The reason why I did the perennial rye is it probably won't last here, but it'll germinate in like six or seven days. That zoysia, the testing I did back here, man, that stuff is slow to germinate. I'm talking about, it can be 11 to 15 days before that stuff germinates. And we've got thunderstorms moving in this time of year. So I need something to germinate really quickly and hold that soil into place. <laughs> Uh, while that zoysia is slowly germinating and growing. So I've got uh, the seeding videos for you. I've got the zoysia videos. I've got the landscaping. I've got all that dirt stuff. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. And again, go over to the website in the description below. On that page will be a thing that says sign up for the email list. And I'll be shooting out an email. I only send out about three a year. Um, and you'll get notified of what's going on with Prime. Anyways, I thought I'd go ahead. I thought I'd just go ahead and walk you around real quick and show you what's going on with the beach house just to give you a little preview, but uh, let's run it through it real quick. Number one, um, we've done a lot of plantings back here on all the back gardens. You can see what we've got going on here. The back gardens are looking amazing. So they look really nice. We've got the pool, it needs to be cleaned. This fence is brand new, just like the one in my house. We had that installed. This was all basically dirt. We had this stoned off, we brought in this white gravel. We stoned off this back area over here. And mainly because when you walk on here, you get a lot of dirt on here and I wanted to stop that. So my first zoysia planting actually took really well. But then they had to bring in all this gravel across this and sort of tore it up, so I replanted it. And again, I'm throwing down a perennial rye and zoysia at the same time. But you can see what we did. We stoned in some side gardens. These are red rows of Sharon's that kind of look like hibiscus. We've done them around. We've done wildflower plantings. The back of the house, the back of the house. Again, those stairs were not there. We added those stairs. Let me just walk you around the front real quick. The front landscaping project, lawn project, was exhausting. I'm talking about 15 hours a day for the past, <laughs> for three straight days. So we actually had this whole area graveled to open up. Now we have a huge parking area in here, which is really nice. This didn't exist before. None of this driveway existed. Then we also put I also put a little side gravel driveway here, so if you ever want to park a boat or if you have extra company. The house looks fantastic. Now that porch didn't exist. That screened in port front porch is new. These stairs didn't exist, so those stairs didn't exist. But you can see what we've done here. 
made a retaining wall. This is 60 cubic yards. This is three truckloads, three to five inches deep of this black topsoil here. Now that was a heck of a project. I'm exhausted, worn out. So you can see what we got going on here. Irrigation is installed. And the house itself looks really nice. Again, that whole front porch is all new. So let me just walk you under the house, which is really cool. So because we added this huge screened in porch up top, which I'm gonna show you the inside, click subscribe because you'll be able to see it. I'll take the inside. But now we have, this is brand new. We have this big storage area all under here now. I had it graveled under here too. That is so nice. Anyways, I'll shoot out that email to you guys. I'll put out some videos and I'll walk you around the house. Dot.